is celebrating its 30th year of taking rural India forward. We have planned a lecture series commemorating this occasion, and I am grateful to you, sir, for agreeing to be part of this event. Montek Singh Ji is one of the finest development economists that the country has produced. Today, he has very kindly agreed to speak on rural infrastructure issues, concerns, and challenges. With these preliminary thoughts, sir, I request you to guide us for the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here on the occasion of the 30th anniversary celebration, I think, of this very important uh, institution. The fact that we have seen uh, faster growth in agriculture, combined with the fact that there's been a tremendous growth in agricultural infrastructure investment, whether it's irrigation or roads or rural roads, there's been a big increase that has taken place, which has generated a lot of employment in the construction industry. These things together in the 11th plan have actually led to a significant improvement in the real growth rate of agricultural wages. So, I mean, what, you, what, what you, we see in the 11th plan uh, is A, agricultural GDP growth is faster than it was earlier, not as fast as we wanted it to be, but faster. The real strategy of the 12th plan should be to draw people out of agriculture. The employment must be provided in the non-agricultural sectors. A move to sensible modern agriculture, providing it is supported by research, which I think the chairman mentioned, and I think we have problems there, supported by access to credit, which is absolutely vital, supported by an improvement in rural infrastructure, which includes irrigation, which includes roads, which includes logistics, warehouse chains, etc., supported by an improvement in marketing systems, which, by the way, is going to be doubly important because the structure of agriculture is going to move away from food grains and towards more diversified agriculture. But the real possibility for growth in agriculture is how to combine maybe 2% growth in food grains with 6 to 7% growth in non-food grains. And that is basically horticulture, fruits and vegetables, fisheries, and of course, milk products. In fact, milk products is a major area uh, where in the 12th plan, we should be giving it a focus, partly because it is the most sensible way of drought-proofing uh, rural areas. I mean, uh, the ability of livestock to handle conditions of drought and actually to be an income support in situations of drought is very well established. And therefore, for the, for the drier, rain-fed parts of the country, which is a very large part of our area, much greater emphasis on livestock is needed. But of course, the moment you get into livestock, the marketing of milk, I mean, the marketing structure and organizations, whether it's cooperatives, public sector, private sector, this needs to be built up. Uh, otherwise, it's really not going to be able uh, to achieve much result. So that is really the broad picture uh, on the agricultural front that we need to, need to tackle. We need much more investment if we cannot ensure in infrastructure an adequate supply of in energy rural areas, that this growth. is general in the present situation. Some of it is, is very specific to I think about 80% of all the water we hear the Pradhan Mantri is Gram actually Yojana, which actually links up villages out of the remaining the 20%, maybe network, 3 or 4% is drinking water. There's a lot the of evidence actually, actually used I mean, up by international evidence. So I think that in the next 10 or 20 years, 10 to 20 which years. Are important. Uh, the way we manage connectivity our water resources has the maximum is going to be definable link important. with rural productivity. Nabad rural has, is, but is what you really need an important is role in making rural areas that will to enable. Uh, but I would say, therefore, that the whole strategy of Nabad should be uh, restructured to support is documented to be very important. Wherever a state government is doing something there, area actually here is telecom connectivity. Uh, I think Nabad should I, step in. I can help. recall so one if, occasion if you when I was overlay in Bundelkhand, we were looking at some irrigation projects. 
project, uh, you're meeting a whole uh, bunch of farmers. And for them, it was very important the criterion to be able to know, that it is uh, financing the innovation conditions at the uh, time when the, the crop is net ready. Impact if we move ahead on the agricultural uh, situation, clearly telecom connectivity, clearly road huge. connectivity. So, thank you very much. I've I think we then too long, have to look at the whole irrigation subject. area where and, uh, uh, the I look administrative responsibility for doing something this. rests really with the state government, but the central government can actually provide assistance. There is no chance on earth of India growing at 8 to 9 percent if we cannot ensure an adequate supply of energy to fuel that growth. Now, the present situation is, I think about 80 percent of all the water we use is actually goes into agriculture. And out of the remaining 20 percent, maybe 3 or 4 percent is drinking water, and the rest is actually used up by industry. So I think that in the next 10 or 20, 10 to 20 years, uh, the way we manage our water resources is going to be enormously important. NABAD ha is, uh, plays an important role in making resources available to states. But I would say, therefore, that the whole strategy of NABAD should be restructured to support innovative things. If wherever a state government is doing something actually innovative, uh, I think Nabad should step in and help. So if, if you overlay on Nabad's not, un, uh, not uh, insubstantial resources, uh, the criterion that it is financing innovation, uh, I think the net impact that you can make on the agricultural situation and the rural situation would be quite huge. So thank you very much. I've spoken for too long, but uh, it's an important subject. And uh, uh, I look forward to questions that you may have on this.